Campaign 2012 coverage continues with Derek Valcourt, who has more on the ballot question over same-sex marriage in Maryland. Derek? Well, both sides have very strong and passionate feelings on this. Both sides know this is going to be a tight race, and this has been a battle months in the making. And the bill is signed. From the day Maryland's governor signed same-sex marriage into law, opponents began fighting to stop it, gathering the signatures needed to allow voters to have the final say. This is about redefining marriage. They took their messages to church congregations and to the airwaves. Their work continued even in the campaign's final hours, greeting voters at polling locations, trying for every last vote. Nobody knows which, which way this is going to go. And uh, this one is one of those things where, you know, it could very well be by one, two, three, four, five, ten votes. And uh, those votes, every vote matters on this issue. There should be about 100 in each of these. But marriage equality advocates have worked tirelessly drumming up support for same-sex marriage. Armies of volunteers have worked the phones and raised money for their own ad campaign. Because it's about fairness, treating everyone equal under the law. At a who's who of politicians, celebrities, and even athletes like Baltimore Raven Brendan Ian Badejo have been out campaigning on their behalf and shaking hands at the polls on election day as they try to sway those remaining undecided voters. It's pretty much a no-brainer. I think we're going to look back, you know, in 10 years and, and even wonder why we had this question up. If same-sex marriage does pass, it would take effect January 1st. Same-sex marriage supporters are also keeping a close eye on ballot initiatives in three other states that have to do with marriage equality. Derek Valcourt, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Derek, thank you.